a preview of the British Grand Prix in Silverstone after an exciting and blood pumping exhilarating race in Austria in which is still sparking a lot of speculations about the integrity of the Formula 1 steward Red Bull and Max Verstappen. I've always criticized Max Verstappen for some time but I've stopped criticizing him. When you look at where somebody is coming from, it's pain, joy. And you look at the team, you look at the leadership, you understand that something is wrong. If Chris Honor still keeps packing him up and saying he can't change, everybody needs to adapt to Max Verstappen's driving style. While Max Verstappen cannot adapt to any other person's driving style, then I think it's nobody needs to adapt to anybody's driving style. Everybody needs to drive according to the rule book. And it's not commonsensical when you make your driver to do things wrongfully and still praise him for doing the wrong thing. I think that speaks a whole lot. British GP in Silverstone. That was the first race under the new world championship of drivers in Formula 1. Now the track had been in existence for years and it has hosted about 78 editions of formula one with the first held in 1926 it's been one of the biggest and one of the most it's like the wimbledon of races that's how it is it's hosted organized by the motor sport uk and i think it's owned by the royal automobile club and the motor racing circuit in england that's the silverstone circuit is nearby the northamptonshire villages of silverstone and withobry it is the home of the British Grand Prix. That is one of the most iconic races in F1. Lewis Hamilton has most wins for a driver in Silverstone. He has had eight wins. That's his home race. While Ferrari has most constructor wins. That's 18. Now that's one of the longest tracks on the calendar. It's a 5.891 kilometers, which is a 3.66 miles, and the race length of 306.198 kilometers. That's 190.263 miles. Is a 52 lap race. Max Verstappen winning the 20. And three edition with Lewis Hamilton always making sure he is on the podium. Lando Norris came second and Lewis Hamilton third. It was a very very interesting race last year. And two years ago, we had a very, very exhilarating race. And let me start from T22, just to review. In 2022, Carlos Sainz was on pole, Max Verstappen second, Charles Leclerc third, Perez fourth, Louis Hamilton fifth, and Lando Norris sixth, Alonso seventh, Russell eighth, Joe Nye, and Latifi tenth. It was a qualifying in the rain, and the race was won by Carlos Sainz, Sergio Perez second, Louis Hamilton third, Charles Leclerc fourth, Alonso fifth, and Max Verstappen seventh. But in 2023, Max Verstappen was on pole, Norris second, Piastri third, Leclerc fourth and Sainz fifth, Russell sixth, Louis Hamilton seventh, Albon eighth, Alonso nine, Gagasli ten. With Max Verstappen winning the race conveniently, Norris second, Hamilton third, Piastri fourth, Russell fifth, Perez sixth, Alonso seventh, and the Ferraris of Leclerc and Sainz ninth and ten. Now, like I said, it's one of the most iconic races and it's one of the biggest races on the calendar. What do we expect this weekend? We're having the C1 as their tire, the same tire you tire choice used in Austria, the C1 as that tire, C2 as medium and C3 as soft. Well, on the circuit information, we are having the traction of a 3, asphalt grip of 4 or 5, asphalt abrasion of 2 or 5, track evolution of 2, which means it has a slow track evolution. The tire stress, 5, the tires are going to work. Braking 2 is not a really braking offset track. There are lots of high speed corners, so there are less braking. Lateral 5 or 5, downforce 4, so it's a high downforce track. Max Verstappen only in the lap record in 2020 of a 1 minute 27 seconds and the camber limit for the front is about negative 2.75 degrees and at the rear negative 1.50 degrees with tire pressures in front of 26.5 psi in front and 23.5 psi at the rear now let's look at the weather the weather on friday there might be rain it's going to be 17 degrees with possibility of rain um certainly there will be light rain around the time of the practice there's a 80 percent chance of rain around the time of the practice one and practice two saturday 17 degrees with loads of sunshine i got sunshine a lot of sunshine all through the day the 10 percent chance of precipitation which is like none and on sunday 17 degrees likewise around the time of the rain we are expecting about 40 percent chances of rain but it looks like there will be no rain there might be drizzle but it's going to be a calm and a cool comported race what do we expect in the race we're expecting the mercedes to challenge because it's their home race and we're expecting mclaren to challenge because it's their home race so red bull will be under pressure but are we going to have another repeat of what happened in austria or what happened in 2021 silverstone we don't know yet but it's going to be a very very interesting race and i believe it's going to start from the practice session there'll be a lot of collision there'll be a lot of anger there'll be a lot of push but i can tell you that race is going to be interesting some drivers will be
will be exposed while some will be will not be able to keep up with their name they will not be able to keep up with their pedigree with what happened in the last race i'm sure mclaren mercedes and ferrari coming with some new parts on their car are not coming to grief for anybody they're not coming to agree with red bull on their jump or with max verstappen the way he drives everybody will want to push him and push themselves to make sure there's a chance and a possibility of winning a race in silverstone but i can tell you from fp1 fp2 i'll be able to give you a low down analysis but be sure that is a blockbuster sunday silverstone has always provided us with blockbuster sundays and this one will be one of the best in the last three four years i'm telling you there will be war and there will be war up until fp1 fp2 i love you guys enjoy it bye